amazing to follow that amazing singing. So uh, I'm going to do the best I can. I want to talk to you just briefly about uh, what, what uh, was just mentioned that we were in the forefront, Americans, Americans for a safe Israel. We were in the forefront of the fight to prevent the expulsion from Gush Katif. It was nine years ago, just now, just today, nine years ago, that 21 beautiful communities in Gaza were destroyed. They were destroyed to help the PA to help the Arab community. Beautiful farms were left, beautiful greenhouses, all kinds of wonderful equipment, high-tech material was left for the Arabs to use. And what did they do with that? They burned it! They destroyed everything. They are not interested in building unless it's building tunnels. They're only interested in destroying. And we have to understand this is this great distinction between Hamas and between Israel. The press, CNN, the uh, New York Times, all the agencies try to draw an equivalency they try to make it sound as though everything should be balanced. There's an equivalency. The number of people who are killed has to be proportionate. It can't be disproportionate. We have to worry about civilian deaths. Instead of understanding that Hamas uses their people as shields and as soldiers, these are their frontline people. So we have to fight all these lies. And we cannot do it when the press itself is terrified of telling the truth. We're standing here asking, why is CNN lying? Why is the a British Broadcasting Company lying? Why does the Times lie? Because when they're in Israel covering this war, and they go into Gaza, if they dare to point their cameras at, at Hamas preparing their launching rockets, they'll get shot in the face immediately. They cannot tell the truth until they leave Gaza and they come back here, which is what we're hearing now. So I want you to understand, and I know you do, you're here because you do understand. Understand that when, when people, when Hamas builds tunnels, it's to destroy. Israel, instead wrote, takes its children underground to protect them. Where are the children's playgrounds? Underground, because in 10 years, 10,000 rockets have landed in Seyrot. And this is what we have to fight against. And we cannot stop until we are victorious. And what does victory mean? Victory means the end of terrorism. And we, unfortunately, have terrorist sponsors right here in New York City and right across the street from us at Lincoln Center. This fall, the Metropolitan Opera House is planning, they are planning a production of the death of Klinghoffer. Leon Klinghoffer was not, he didn't just die on a ship. Leon Klinghoffer was murdered by the PLO and he was thrown overboard. And the Metropolitan Opera is asking us to have sympathy for these terrorists. To understand the humanity. Well, I say. Somebody is funding this opera. Where 
Where's the money coming from? The taxpayers! We're not paying for it. No, it's not the taxpayers. We're not paying for this. Terrorism being promoted in New York City is being promoted by the enemies of peace. I'm not going to say any names. I don't have proof. But we know who the enemies of peace are. So folks, the next thing you do after we fight Hamas and CNN and the New York Times and all these enemies, send a letter to, the, to Peter Gale for the Metropolitan Opera and tell him no terrorism in New York City. No terrorism in New York City. No terrorism in New York City. Thank you.